the new update of um, Digimax Lite from Circuit Domain. Max done an absolutely brilliant job with this kit. Um, just phenomenal. So yeah, version 2.7 hardware, 2.5 um, firmware. And now, <coughs> rather than having to wire all the wires from his kit into the radio like all previous installations have been done, this one simply uses the IDC connector ribbon cable into... Now this is the first radio to have this expansion board using the MC145106 adapter plate which I drew up and designed. So it plugs and plug and play directly into the board that I designed. And the other cool thing about on my board is I incorporate this little trim adjustment which all these rigs as anyone who tunes these radios would know that the 10.24 megahertz crystal does not have an adjustment for that crystal. So there's a slight, slight amount of skew when you go over say 100 channels or so, maybe 20, 30 hertz. And so with this radio boasting at about mm, 300 lock channels, which obviously usable, about 200, but anyway, there is quite a bit of skew over that time. So <clears throat> with that, now locking in that 10kc step or 5kc step to perfectly online, it'll, it won't skew at all between the bottom and top channels. So basically the only three wires that need to be hardwired in when doing a Digimax Lite install uh, into these 8719 chassis when using this adapter plate is literally just these three wires because otherwise it's just plug and play so all the wires from Digimax plug and play straight into mine the only three wires you have to worry about is squelch, power and PTT now squelch just gets routed underneath the board into one of these transistors here the PTT rather than wiring into the microphone PTT line I wire it into one of the transistors over here that happens to only switch on and off when the squelch knob is in CB mode. If you go into PA mode, um, the PTT line won't make any difference to the Digimax kit. So yeah, all those wiring literally just come to my kit, I route it through the internal circuitry, through the ribbon cable into his kit. Um, so basically, to install it, my board in, you just remove the old PLL, and as you can see, there's the pins from this header that sit in where the old PL used to be on the main chassis board, and this just takes over. And um, other than that, let's get on to actually just showing how the Digimax is set up and works. Okay, so basically, um, nice smooth operation of the front dial. Um, so one press of this take you to the home channel which at the moment is set to um, uh, channel 35 two presses of that button will engage scan scan down or if you turn the rotator to the right it will scan upwards and it will just scan all those all the frequencies that it locked on to uh, and basically open up the squelch and it'll stop scanning straight away. Now you can obviously see in there that little indicator for when squelch is closed or open. Um, and then <coughs> for um, repeater function, you press the button three times, split, and then it, what it asks you for is how far away do you want the TX frequency to move away from the um, RX. So anything from well, 100 channels separation down to 1. So I don't know, if we maybe choose 5. Now we've got 5 channel separation, but do you want the TX to go 5 channels above or below? Either way, maybe we'll choose low this time and done. So we're sitting at somewhere like 100 channel, channel 134 so if we hit TX up there which <coughs> will just bring you that TX RX light into view it'll go down 5.5 to 129 so <coughs> really neat. Um, yeah pretty cool so if you then move up to another channel I don't know, or down to another channel 100 and maybe 
20, it should be then TX115. Uh, to stop the repeater function, simply just press the button once. And now it will just be standard simplex like it should be. Uh, then to set up the kit, you press four times. One, two, three, four. Uh, the first option obviously lets you choose your PLL. Obviously we are choosing 106 because we're using a MC145106. Uh, UPD uh, 858 for all the President Adams, Ferris 5000s, Robin 520, 510, etc, etc. Cybernets, PLL 02A. Uh, now this is the option you would use in this radio if you didn't have the expansion uh, board in there and just using the generic MB8719. PLL, but since we have this adapter board, we'll just use 106. Encode 79 for this rig, no matter what PLL. Squelch happens to be high on this rig. Home channel, mm, maybe let's choose, I don't know, maybe 16. Lock detect. Now, this is the really cool, cool feature that Mac has incorporated in this kit. Super cool. It automatically um, listens to the lock detect pin on the PLL and um, <clears throat> figures out basically where the VCO will be in lock or out of lock so that you don't waste time rotating this control looking or listening to channels that are unsuccessfully locked in the PLL. Basically useless. So we choose on and you press and let it go for a walk. And you just watch how many channels your radio can do. Normally these chassis would stop at 108 as anyone who's installed Digimax Lite into these chassis beforehand would know. So 108 being the old limit <coughs> and on and on it goes. You can see the frequency counter matching up with what's going on just counting and counting away. So. 200 you can hear the oh 260 you really can hear the VCO struggling there towards the end get to about minus 10 yeah which is about right yep that's right so really we have uh, let me see Minus 8 to 261. I mean, that's like, yeah, 269. If you add those two numbers together, 269. And then 269 plus 5, so 274 channels all up there that time. It seriously is the best around. It's uh, just too good.